So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on with my car seat covers. As you can see, they are black. Now, I do agree, actually. It probably will make it dark in here. Yes. <laughs> but it will won't show the grime so much and stuff like that and they're different i don't think you understand what the color black does it shows more dirt than white it's fine it's fine i'm sick of having cream colored chair covers <laughs> right i'm gonna crack on with these right okay let me just show you our old ones they're kind of like this bubbly material if you know what i mean fleecy now i've just realized these aren't fleecy these are furry, <laughs> baby cup furry car seat covers. <laughs> We're going to look like Del Boy, aren't we? Well, now let's just get them on. Show them my next job. Look, I'm going to do this. New wing, wing mirrors. mirrors. Shall we have a look? Yeah. I'm not going to take them outside, but I can bring the old ones in and show them how vile they are. Are they definitely? The right ones? I have no idea. <laughs> I think so. They look big though, don't they? Well, these haven't got screw holes. The ones we've got on at the moment they have. They have got screw holes. No, they haven't. In here, look. Oh. All right. Yeah, so what have I been up to? So I'm going to put those on. In the meantime, I have actually done our car seat covers. These are so cosy. I haven't done the clips on them yet because it's a bit of a kerfuffle in here at the moment. Um, loving those. What else have I been doing? I did tape up at the final on my table leg. So when we get the new tabletop, it's going to look... Oh, yeah, don't ask. <laughs> Dan last touched that. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're still going to get around to doing the table. Big job been a big job in it babe it looks lovely before we got here Mazza. it's or looking it. lovely now i i've got to admit i am ecstatic i'm absolutely happy and i love you and you've done amazing thanks babe so this is the reason why don't get me wrong this is dirt on here but when you get that off it's always still quite scratched up mucky guts and all sorts so that's where my two screws are Let's just get these off. I'll bring these then indoors to show you how bad they are. I need two hands. Right, okay, so I've given these a good wipe down. They were quite dusty underneath. As you can see, they're black anyway, so they're gonna look smart. Let's try and squeeze this one on. I don't know if it just clips on. Is that right? Yep, that's one. All I've got to do now, there's a little strip there and then put some screws in and that'll keep hold of that tight. Look at that, look at that, lovely and posh. Quick little update, I'm absolutely struggling with the left one. I have no idea why. The other one went on fine. Because you're right-handed. What does that mean? You're struggling with left one. You managed right one because you're right-handed. I have no idea. But I'm really struggling with that. So I've brought these in. I've given this one a wipe down. And this is it dirty. Now you can see why. If you see here, it's always stained and discoloured. You get bug splats. You get scratches. I don't know. I just think black for a little while will be much better than that. Because that's as good as it always comes up. Look at the state of it when they do get grotty. Do you think black will be a good idea? Well, I don't think one black, one white will be a good idea. Well, they're both black anyway. <laughs> I thought you couldn't get one on. No, I've, got, I've took them both off, which they're black underneath. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to need a hand. I don't know. Maybe I've put the wrong one on the wrong side and may have to start all over again. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to another big motorhome makeover. So what's on the agenda for us today? Work for me. Well, for now. So while well, Dan's busy finishing off a previous job, um, I'm going to actually, if you've watched my video on uh, doing my bathroom, you'll realise I had a lot of that left over. So I'm actually going to be lining the fridge this morning. But oh, right. what our big job is today, so what you're going to be watching in today's vlog, is we're going to be putting our LEDs around the place. 
New lighting systems. Yep, new lighting systems. I think then that that's the last fixture and fixings. Oh, yes, apart from we got some more chromey bits for the um, glass on there. Mm -hmm. So today really is our last fixture, fixture and fixings video. Isn't it? Are you happy about that? Well, I'm not happy about you doing this because you're obviously going to be getting in my way because I'm, I'm not going to be getting in your way. You're going to be getting in my way, isn't he? Right. First things first, I must um, clean the freezer door and the fridge door. <clears throat> Highly recommend this stuff. Really gets the grease out of stuff. I've mentioned it a thousand times. Now, the only thing that I won't be able to cover is the oven door for the fact that, you know, that gets hot and blah, blah, blah. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because this is actually quite scratch, scratched up and a little bit dented. There's a couple of dents in there as well somewhere. So this is something I've been wanting to do previously anyway. But to get this actual stuff, it's very expensive. Right, let's get cleaning. Okay, so I've cut me two pieces out. I've done the freezer first. Well, I'm going to start on the freezer first, I mean, because obviously it's at my height, it's going to be the easiest. Now, if you did watch my bathroom video, you'll um, understand that this stuff is quite difficult to work with, but I'm sure this is going to be fine because it's just a slight curvature. It's not going around corners, etc. And for this, I'm just going to be using a Stanley knife. Right, okay, I've put the freezer one on. I haven't cut it yet. I'm just going to show you, you get bubbles in this. Now, you can either be persistent. <laughs> what? I can't say that word, can I? <laughs> can't say any word, yeah. <sighs> right, so either you can push it out, or apparently you can pin prick them, or the heat gun or a hairdryer will help, but I haven't got no electric, so I'm not able... I'm just going to have to pay some time and attention to it or just get your assistant to pull that side off and start again and do it properly <laughs> <laughs> That's better, isn't it? Well, I haven't got any hair bubbles in now. Now a man's done it. Not that women can't do it. Yes, I proved you wrong this week. Right, let me just have a that. tinker Perfect. with that. And then all I have to do then is get me Stanley, go around there delicately and just hope for the best. This might not work. Right, I'm going for it. I've just made a little line there. Now, this is harder than you might possibly imagine. Um, and obviously, if you mess it up, you've got to start again. Right, I'm going to have to put you down. Finish the bottom bit. Now, I am noticing, let me just grab my blade. Uh, I'm noticing if you just go straight down like that. Oh, excuse me, got a bubble in my throat. You come up a little bit short. And you'll see there. Now, either you're a perfectionist or you just don't mind. And if you see there, the trick is to actually cut like that on top of your um, my lip there. But don't worry about it if it comes short. I'm just going to show you how you can fix that. Just cut like little strips. See this bit there? Cut like little strips. Oh, I've got it upside down. Stick them on. And you're not even really going to notice. And obviously then just fill in your little gaps as well. So hey, so I've got the top one done, the freezer. It might need a little touching up, but I'm not too fussy because, you know, I'm not a home decorator. Yeah, you're looking at me weird. I thought I did that. I cut it and everything. Oh, yeah, you cut it. Right, anyway. So I placed in the bottom one on the bottom fridge, realising it's upside down. <laughs> so there is a kind of way, you know, like you can see the leaves with the stems coming downwards. This is upside down. So I tried unpeeling it and look what's happened. The actual um, front of the fridge. Oh, 
the front, <laughs> the front of the fridge has come off. Can you film me for a minute, darling? So that's the fridge behind this, um, <clears throat> behind this um, kind of laminate stuff. Unfortunately, we can't just go straight onto that. It's cheap plastic, isn't it? Yeah. And that's it's even funny cheaper. when people buy us um, fridge magnets and they don't realise our fridge is yeah. not plastic. Yeah. So anyway, what I'm thinking... Oh! Try not unstick it. How about just turning it upside down? We're hair all stuck all over it now. Do you think that would work? No. Because trying to unstick that now could be a nightmare. I don't even know how this is going to get in. <laughs> Can you help me for a minute, babe? No. Please. So you don't look as if it's going too well there, Mazzy? No, I tried peeling it off. I thought, no, it was too difficult to try and do that with this stuff on. It's just all broken into a thousand pieces. I'm not even sure if I've got enough left. In the meantime, my job's going incredibly well. Nearly done. Right, got it on. It's all stuck down. I've sort of gone round the edge like that with my finger. But this one now, come more towards the bottom, has got an awful lot more bubbles. Both me and Dan have been struggling to peel it off without then the um, front of the fr fridge actually coming off with it. So it is what it is. I'm just going to have to work with it. So what I will be trying is the pin prick idea because there's a few, not too many, but there is an odd few that needs pricking out. I might even still be able to push them, but I'm not peeling this off again. There you go. But what's it look like? What do you think? So it's all trimmed up and I've put you on this angle because you're going to see now a few bubbles. Let's take this one here. I've tried pushing these out. Oh, okay, that one's gone out actually. Right, so there's one there. So I'm going to try this with a pin prick. Right, there we go. Oh yeah, okay. Now that's magic actually. Uh, I didn't quite prick that one. Oh my god, that's magic. Right, this is a bad one here, but this is where we got stuck and we uh, kept pulling the front of the fridge off. So let's give this one a go. One in there, one in there, one in there. <laughs> oh, okay, that's really magic. That's wicked. And another one there. So there you go, that's a big tip for everybody. Yeah, that one's going as well, if I can push that. One more there. Well, anyway, I'll get back to that, but... What do you think? It's all done. Certainly looks different, doesn't it? So that actually worked a treat. There's one or two down the bottom, only tiny, whiny ones, where they're not bubbles. They're actually little creases now that we were messing with it. Bony little ones. Brilliant idea, brilliant way of jazzing up a boring fridge. Right, so our next jobs will be the lighting. If Dan ever finishes down there. So while Dan's still busy, in the meantime, I'm going to put two more of these on. We were talking about it last time. Dan did a lovely job of this. We're going to have one more there and one more over there so it doesn't slide in and out. Um, yeah, it should be an easy job. Do you trust me, babe? Yeah, go on. So I've got to get these off on here, or at least so I can slide it in and out. Right, I got it. It's just a matter of twisting these off. Um, Dan was saying, some people were saying in the comments, how am I going to clean this? Well, easy. Just unscrew them and move it out. <laughs> To be honest, it doesn't get that dirty behind there anyway. Right, let's remove the glass for a second. And remove this one. Right, so what I've done, just use the old hole on that one. And it's easy, just then get, if you bear with me, where is it? Then just get this, put that there, put a mark where your screw hole is take it all off should be a mark there yeah there's a mark there 
and then just screw it on. This one was actually a little bit difficult to screw in because I've got the window in the way. So it's a tiny bit loose, but it's fine. Another job bites the dust. <laughs> so I've done that. Put all my bits back, but the only thing I haven't done was these, so I'll wait for Jan to do that. Or I might give it a go in a minute. I did actually tighten that screw a little bit more. It's perfect. I'm loving it. Are you still at it, mate? I've nearly done. Another hour or two. Four. Another day, another job. No, I've started the day with the fridge and that. <laughs> See, he don't pay attention. We're keeping that in. <laughs> right. Um, lights. Yep, lights. It's the final job. The final big job. Yeah. Well, it's not a big job, but it's the final job. It's quite a big job, I think. Do you? I think it's We have to get easy. this right. Yeah. Do you want to show us what you've got? Yeah. So I've got lots of packs like this. Mm. Um, and this is what exactly they are. So they're just LED strips. Sticky back. Let me have a close look. Okay, sticky back backs. Yep. Yep. And these ones, in particular ones, are USB. So I want them all wired up, ready down there to plug into a jackery underneath our new posh table, I must add. <laughs> and but the first job we're going to be actually doing is this set. Now, this is the only set that I got as batteries because it was going to be easier for the particular job I want this for, and it's going round the table. Round the table. Now, yes. we did look at this the other day, didn't we? Yeah. And I think we've decided, did it, were it under here? Yeah, we're going to put it underneath this lid. Under this so rim. It sort of beams down. Now, the thing about it is, where's the remote control? Oh, yeah, it's one of these here somewhere. Nah. This one. So it will flash, it we've will strobe, it, yeah. it will dim. It will fade. You can have all different colours. We've actually had these on sort of the last three nights. And these particular ones, the ones that are actually electric, plugs into the USB, bright as anything, amazing. These are bright, but how long they're going to last with the batteries, I don't know. But You could actually change the brightness on them as well, up yes, and down. So which will save on batteries. And they change colour and blah, blah, blah. Mm. So I think we're going to start with the table one today. I think this is five metres. Should make it all the way round. It will definitely make no, it all the way round. No, not five metres. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five metres. Yeah. You might even get round twice, but I doubt it. You up for this then? So yeah. this is our final job. We're going to do this one together. I think we're going to need to help each other for this one. Measuring up before we... I am going to need to help you, yeah. Measuring up before we uh, actually stick it. Come on, let's do this. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's get lighting. Okay, so with our connectors, we've decided to have it in this far corner for the fact that you are going to see a little wire. Yeah, it's going to be a bit untidy, isn't it? So we just want this bit yeah. out of the way. I mean, it's not untidy as such, but... It's double-sided to right. on the back, which is good. <laughs> so... This side hasn't got a lip because obviously this is the side I cut. So we're just going to come straight across at the back and then under this lip here. Yeah. Okay, so if I start it right there. Yeah. Oh, it's very sticky. Is it? I told you that, didn't I? I said to you it's got a really good stick on it. Okay, first bit is in place. Yes. This is going to stick so well. Yes. Too well. That's a good job. <laughs> All right, you continue up there. Right, you let's swap them. <clears throat> All right, so then when I get to the actual corner, I then have to try and twist it because we're going under the lip there. That's right. Now, we have wrapped this round just to test how much we got and where it's going, and it is actually, it will go around the table about one and a half times, won't it? Yes, but... It's going to look silly because we don't want two on some bits and one yeah. on one bit. So we're just going to go around once and then put the rest underneath. 
you, no, okay. you can cut it off. Did you say you could actually yeah, cut it? Yeah, you can cut these, but why waste that light? Exactly. You know? So we'll just stick yeah. it to the bottom of the table, pointing down. That'll be fine. Right, so I've got around that little corner, all right? Sort of twisting it, if you know what I mean. OK. I think I'm going to have to get down and just... Well, nicely. why don't we just move table, look, so... Because we can move the table now, Mazzy. Oh, it's a bright day today, isn't it? <laughs> right, so, yeah, that twisted up. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You want to, I'd say you want to come right up to the lip here, not at the back, you know, at the front. But you can't really then, because you're going to have this coming across here. I think you need to get just get it here tucked in as much as possible. <sighs> OK, I trust, I, mean? I trust you. I trust you. It's going to come out there. <laughs> These are like little, just little, I can't say. <laughs> These are just like little tricks that you can do just to change your... House up a little bit, put them around picture frames, up and down your shelves in your bedrooms and stuff. How much were these? I can't remember. You're not but, very I mean, good this, at telling people set, prices, are you? This set was probably, I don't know, I don't know, under a tenner maybe. The other ones now, they were a little bit more, quite a bit more expensive because they're obviously they're, um, they're five metres. I've got 20 metres or 25 metres of it. Anyway, just leave us to anyway, it. So we'll I get round here. The I problem is we're not going to be able to show them how good they are until it's dark. No, but also going bright. back to price and stuff. I mean, I got mine off eBay, but I can't say exactly. There are so many on there. You get cheaper ones, expensive ones. You never know what the difference is. It's just a matter of potluck. Buy whatever you want to buy. So Leave us to it. Yeah. Right, OK, so we've done the full circle. Still got maybe a metre and a half or something left. I don't really know how much, but... So I need to somehow just take this down. It's not going to be very neat, this bit. But... No, but that's where the wire is anyway, so... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because that's at the back. Yeah. So I'm going to have to lie down here and... So you know what you want to do with it, really? The most light we're going to want at the front, aren't we? Get the better. Where's the front? This is your front. Okay. Oh, no, is it? Where's the back? That's the back there, isn't it? No, this is your front here, sorry, darling. Okay. Oh, oh I'm not right, because it's <laughs> lying down anymore. I, I bet you thought that was the last time you'd have to get lay in that position again, didn't mm. you? <laughs> Right, I have to somehow get behind the bracket here. You're going to have to give me a minute. Yeah, don't be too neat with it. As long as it's stuck, it don't really matter where it is, does it? Oh, look at him. Oh, babe. Yeah, there's hardly any left in here. Yeah, that was definitely, I think, only Ow. five metres. So he's probably only got a metre left. Jobs are good, then. What do you think? What do you think? There's nothing to see, you see. You can't even tell we've got lights on until night time and we press a button and it all comes on. Yeah, we'll show them on our finale video. Um, just show them all the little connections where it went down, though. Oh, I'd rather not. Well, I'm a right mess. <laughs> it's, only a, it's only a wire. I mean, you've got to expect something like that. when It's you've a got... mess. It's a mess. Yeah, what, what we have to do is just click a switch back there to turn it on and then press the on remote button on the remote on control. Off. Yeah. Not a problem. It's in the far corner. We don't use that corner. No. Sorted. Right, we're moving on to the proper yeah, stuff now. Yeah, we're moving on now. So th this is the real good um, LED strips. Unfortunately, it's white. I did order black because you can order this to be white or black. You know, black would have been more discreet, but it, it, it's irrelevant. What we're going to be doing is this floor here. But we have to make sure that all the connections are in here under the table tucked away, I mean, for the jackery to plug into the jackery. Right. This is five metres, so what we're going to have to do first is just make sure it's going to reach around the whole room. So these have to be plugged in by USB to work? Yes. Ugh. I told you that. Yeah, this, this isn't going to be easy then. Why not? Well, because we're going to have four or five wires going into this co bottom corner to the to a uh, power bank. No, we're going to no, we're not. We're going to have two. Two. Yeah. But we've got one for this room and one for that room. But we've got four. Yeah, I know, but that's for another job. Oh. It's so bright today. <laughs> yeah, we don't need lights. Throw right. them in. 
So what we are doing is this floor and this floor underneath Dan's feet. So wherever you want the p points, really, darling. Do you, would you rather over in this corner? Definitely. Yeah, right. Out of the way. That's going to shorten this. So I'm room. guessing we're going to start here and work our way around. Well, that's going to shorten this room now, but we'll see how we go, yeah? So let's unravel it. Make sure it goes all the way around first. We might have to twiddle with it. Mm-hmm. Twiddle. One thing I do want to do, though, Mazzy. Yes. Before we stick anything down. Yeah. I want you to un open one of the others. I want to know if the remote control is going to work for the mall. Oh, we'll try that soon. No, that's important. We need to know that before well, we stick anything down. Let's get this stuck down first. Yeah, but what I'm saying is we need to know that before we stick anything down. It doesn't matter whether you need two remotes or one remote, does it? No. <laughs> Now, oh, mind your head, sweetheart. There's no mind. need to to fall out or argue when you're doing a job like this. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Just take a step back and yeah. realise your boyfriend's right. Not at all. <laughs> I'm gonna do a what is it called? Um, father Chad. You're looking proud. Proud. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> yes. So this is what we've done. We've gone all the way down there, the back of the table, all the way along here, through there. This is what we did with the excess rather than just cutting it off. It so happened to go straight up to the ceiling, actually, so that was good. And it's all lit up in here. We'll show you it properly when it's dark. Yeah, we'll show them again and we'll show you sort of how the lights... Well, I suppose you can show how the lights work. Like, change a few colours and stuff. Oh, yes. Do one controller control them both? Well, I don't know which... Well, you've got to point it down there near the um, sensor. Red? Yep, so this one's still blue. Oh, hang on, my sensor's right back here. Behind the bags. <laughs> That's not good, is it? There. there we go. Red, red. Right, let's try some. Are you sure that's red? That one looks different colour to the other one. It's red. I think it's just looks... because it's lighter on that side, Mazzy, I think. Oh, no. Right, let's try. Disco hall, disco hall. Yeah, baby. Check that out. <laughs> Smell <laughs> good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yes. All right. I don't like the flashing on it. It's well tacky. <laughs> but it's lit it up a bit, isn't it? You know, when we've got guests here and stuff and we can't afford to put the lights on. <laughs> Next. Uh, you want in more in bedroom now, yeah. aren't you? Last job. Bedroom. Lost job taking you in to the bedroom. One each. One each. We have to start up here. Because they have to meet the USB lights that we have plugged in. Yeah, we've got a USB point there. So we're going to start it right up in the corner here, coming along here. So the wire will just, you'll see a bit of wire there, and then we'll just tuck all the things inside there. Um, which is a bonus because when you were saying do the bedroom, I was wondering where we're going to put plug them in. Well, our old school viewers will remember when when we first got the van. I used to have like little fairy lights, and then they were in a, like a battery pack there. Yeah. Do you remember? They're yeah. all around there. It was so lovely. So I just thought, let's turn it into a bit of a boudoir. Why not? <laughs> well, why not? Yeah. yeah. When you had them up before, we used to have loads of men knocking on his door, didn't we? In laybys. <laughs> 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 right, you do that side, yeah. I'll do this side. Let's crack on. Last job, babe. Let's keep our faith. And I'm getting hungry, I'm getting exhausted. I'll be honest, I've had quite sufficiently of enough now. Is that a word? Efficiently, yeah. Right, so here we go. I'm going to plug my one in. <laughs> yep, the lights work. Right, so all this needs tucking in my underwear cupboard, so I'm not opening mine. <laughs> I'll film Dan do his. But check out how bright they are, and that's with the windows and light coming through. No. One no. problem we've found is you never know which way around to put these prongs. No, but all you have to do is turn them around and then they work, see? Yeah. 
But not the best connection in the world, is it? Mm, yeah, well... Here's what it is. So you've got to tuck it right in all that wiring. Oh, OK, yeah. Well, it's just going to start there, isn't it? Yeah. OK. I'm going to keep the light on so that I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Another little tip. <laughs> Help your little bad eyes. There you go. You get your own remote control then, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've got my... We've got five of these now. <laughs> yeah. And we have worked out, actually, one will not work. Well, we, we no, we haven't tested it properly, have we? I don't think, no, they won't we, work. No, we don't think that one will work all the sets, although they're the exact same. But we will try it again soon. Oh, oh, oh Teddy! Teddy. <laughs> Me Teddy. Your Teddy, sorry. No, no, that is your, everyone knows that's your Ted. So you're going to see that? No, no, no. Yeah. So actually, yeah, Dan is right. We do have to see that for the fact that the remote control won't work unless if that's out in the open anyway. Because that's your little sensor. If I show you, let me just show you on here. This is your sensor for your remote control. If you hide that now in the cupboard, it's not really going to work. But it's all good. It's all good in the hood. It's all good in the van. Now, as sticky as these were, and we initially thought they could have been stickier, couldn't they, babe? Yeah. Um, luckily, we've got the carpet tape, and which is incredibly yeah. strong. So the bits which haven't stuck properly, and there is a few. Yeah. When you're going around like certain little corners and stuff, which we have had a few problems in the um, living area, but we will rectify that on another day. We're going to have to use double-sided tape. Yeah. If you're going on a straight line, it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, it's just going sort of around. You need to put a little twist in it. That's yeah. The problem. Halfway there. So where we're gonna be bringing this, and if we can trim, if we need to trim it, we will. We're just gonna go dead center there, and then cut it off, and start with the next set going round there. It should work out all right, shouldn't it? Well, no. Why? Ideally, we want to trim it at the side, not in the middle there, because you'll see it. You know what I mean? You won't see that join because well, the two are going to. We want the join like there, so that. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. Well, they'll, they'll butt up to one another, won't they? And actually, let me test this remote control. So Dan one's Dan's one's in. Is that your remote control or mine? I'll tell you what is wrong. What? The letters on this tape are upside down. They are? Do I? <laughs> I suppose not. No. It's just I'm a perfectionist, you see. OCD and all that. Right, I'm just going to leave Dan to it for a minute. I'm going back to this. Right, so I think this is my one or Dan's one. It don't matter, I can't remember. But I've just pulled the little battery tabs out. Let's give this a go. Right, so Dan's, yep, that changes colour. Let's go red. Yeah. Oh, it is working on mine as well. Is it? Yes. Mm. So let's go, right, let's just go blue so you can see that and point it up then at Dan's one. It did. It, that just now turned that red. Yes. There we go. So you only need one remote control. Excellent. Which means you, we only need one remote control for all four of them, or whatever it is. Right, so you're going to trim that there then, darling? Well, I'm just going to keep going. Are you? Why mm -hmm. stop when you're having fun, eh? Mm-hmm. You having fun? I knew you would have fun doing this. No, I'm not, actually. And it's not sticking on that very well. Because it's a plastic. The tip is, with this, I found... Um, not try to not to touch it. <laughs> what, what's your little tip? Um, to get your boyfriend to do it. So yeah, you yeah, that was the second tip I was about to say as well, actually. So maybe then we'll cut it here. 
Oh no, I don't know. I'll leave it to you. <laughs> Sorry to interfere. <laughs> it's looking well good though. You imagine this now at night. I personally didn't want it to go across there. You're all thinking, why didn't it go across? Well, I didn't want it. To be honest, I didn't even want it going around these wardrobes. But we had to for the back to hide the wiring and stuff. Oh, you're going for it. You're cutting it. Remember on the gold line. This is a moment of truth now. The whole lot's going to turn off, isn't it? Oh, clever. Clever. There you go. So that's the dud dead bit. And it still works. <laughs> You're actually quite impressed with that, aren't you? I am, you? yeah. Knowing you can cut through a circuit and it still works. Yeah. They are clever like that. Okay, so I'm going to need some carpet tape then. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Next! Right, so Dan's come across here, but we've actually got quite a lot of leftover, and rather than cutting it off, he's suggesting to come down sort of there. It will look a bit bad up here. Yeah, that's why I thought maybe just snip it. Do you want to just snip yeah, it? Yeah, because we've got enough to do up there now with the double-sided tape. Or we could have come down here, is my point anyway, which I thought would look... We still can, <laughs> we just can't light it up. Oh, you're cutting it too short. Stop! You are lucky! Job done. Like that, innit? Yeah. There you go. There we go. Fantastic. So, like I said, there is a few bits that just need a bit of double sided tape. Fantastic, babe. Oh, we just got to tuck our little leads in then and hide them as much as we can. Yeah. And then we've got like the new party fan. Party, 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 party fan. So that was us installing some flashy LED lights. LED lights yeah. all around the van. And you can do it too. You certainly can. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little series. We've got one more left, and which is the finale showing the before and after and the just, extra bits. Just putting up our little touches, you know, like the rugs, all our new rugs, little Rugs, beddings, accessories, little bits. Yes. And um, we're going to do that in the morning. Yeah, because we're just too tired now. But I hope you enjoyed that as much as we have. And then we're off on a massive, massive trip, yes. which we still have not announced, but we we'll will. about, yeah, we've not had time. <laughs> right, come back tomorrow for the finale, the beforehand, afterhand, and. In this, between hand. This series is hand. now finished. You're gonna miss it. Nah, oh, I'm yeah. not. I actually really enjoyed it. It gave us something to do for the week. It was good. I'd rather not had anything to do for the week, but never mind. It's done now. It's done. I'm See happy. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. bye.